All right, everyone, real quick, I want to talk about um, something I did wrong and just letting you guys know if you do it wrong, you can just rebuild your, your uh, code space. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, just in case you have this issue at any point. So I basically had deleted Java. Uh, so you can see the Java command's not found. I don't have a Java version. And it had to do with me changing my changing the files that run the program. So, I mean, I tried to fix it. This is actually not a hard fix on a desktop, but <coughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm not on the desktop. So um, I tried to reload the problem. It just, it's not working. And I don't want to mess with this anymore because I spent too much time on it. So I'm going to go back to my code spaces and close all these windows out. And hold on. Let me go back to my code spaces, and this is the one that I destroyed. So I'm just going to stop or delete the code space completely. Yes, delete. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to delete it. All right. And I'm going to start a new repository. So I'm going to go to my. Actually, I'm going to start a new co code space and use that same repository. So I'm going to say new code space. I'm going to select that same repository, uh, computer science 1436. There you go. And let's see if this is interesting. I can actually give more RAM and stuff to my code space. Not that I need it, but yeah, we're going to use that right now. <laughs> now what's cool is, since I've created the new code space, it should still access the same repository. And I know I had some uncommitted changes, but Either way, should still be here. And there's Hello World, and there's the Hello World class. So I'm going to come to my terminal, make sure everything works, and install that Java extension. All right, come back here. And I'm going to just make sure the version works. So job, last version. Uh, you can see the version is back with OpenJDK. So now I can. Java C hello world dot Java and Java hello world everything works again so it's pretty straightforward just delete the code space that you broke install a new one and that should work pretty well that's all I wanted to share with you thank you bye